Right, how many attempts is it going to take me this time? First bloody try. We have here the Japan series. A very awesome Majorette gift box set. And, uh, yeah. This is going to be awesome. We've got all your favourites. You've got the Supra. Is that a Supra? We've got Skyline. We've got an Evo. Oh, yeah. I love an Evo. Got your Civic. And I've already forgot what that is. It's the A13 something, rather. It's the... Uh, Oh, it's 31. The Nissan Sephiro A31. Not one I really know much about. But yeah, there they are on the back. Also showing off their opening features, which is pretty awesome. And again, pretty cool artwork. This is a pretty cool set because it's got all the JDM favourites. And a very cool artistic approach, like an animated kind of approach to the decals on these. As you can see, you've got these like drawn on lines, and in the backdrop there, you have the cars. So yeah, we'll unbox this and take a quick look at them all, and explore the opening features. Let's shed a bit more light on it as well. Boom. Yeah, you can see the uh, art in the back a bit better now. Very nice. Let's crack it open. That one's got some tape on it. Has it got tape on it, or is it just, oh, it's there, it's, it's being sneaky. And again, it's got quite a lot of cool, uh, just a cool design on this whole thing, really. It's very nice. Let's slide that out, and there you can see a bit more of the drawings on the back. Oh, and before I forget, something really funny happened with this. I got this set for a ridiculously good price. So we're out on holiday on the Norfolk boards, as we do, and we stopped off at Yarmouth. We went to Asda to get a few bits and pieces for the boat, uh, and of course, a peg hunt. I always do a peg hunt while I'm up there, on the few shops we go to. And anyway, we went in there, there was no holes at all, but there was these Majorette gift boxes, so I thought, you know what, I'll pick one up. Uh, the list price on the shelf was £14, so quite expensive, but these usually are. And anyway, we got that. Quite a few other bits and pieces, a reasonable sh small shop, you know. And when it comes to pay, it was £12. Like, 12 quid. It was like £12.95, so, like, not even 13 quid. And I'm thinking, hang on a minute, this was meant to be more than the entire shop. What's happened here? So anyway, I paid for it, and I got the receipt, and I checked it, and <laughs> it charged me £6 for this. So someone at Asda's cocked up. And we went back a few days later, I think two days later we ended up back there. They were all gone. <laughs> so maybe someone else realised and uh, bought the rest, but there we are. So, can't complain. Mm, that's very, very good price for the for a set like this. And, uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have admitted that online. But, not my problem, is it? <laughs> you know. Um, it's not like I didn't... It's not like I stole it, really. And what kind of fun sponge is going to go, oh, uh, you should have charged me more for this. Uh. Yeah, so that is quite nice. <laughs> Let's crack on. Oh, I can't wait for the Evo. Oh, Evo, I like Evo. Give me the evil. Oh, it's tape and bands. I don't like the tape and bands. It takes ages. How do the how do I cut the cardboard below the bands? How does that make any sense? And it gets around the wheels and it's oh and it's just ugh and it's ugh and it's ugh and then it ugh yeah yeah. Irritating. I'm going to jump cut because there's going to be lots of just me making annoying noises going. Nah, nah, nah. Get off! Why was I not doing it this way in the first place? Oh, yeah, that's having them right out.
So there's a uh, little closer look at that. I've still got a load of these rubbers to get out. Oh, cutting them out like that has made it quite hard to get. Hmm. I might be able to get them out. As I do this, I just sit here and think, hang on a minute. When I realised these were six pounds, why didn't I go back and get the Porsche box set that I saw? Because that was quite cool. I just didn't think it was 14 quid's worth. Why do I think of these things way too late? <laughs> why am I like this? So unfortunately, doing these things has given me time to reflect on the things I've done wrong in my life. There we go. Finally. Now I've got loads of little bits of rubber on the side of the desk. <laughs> Uh, let's just shove them in whatever order, I can't remember what they were, I think it was something like that anyway. Very bold coloured set as well actually this one, very, very bold colours. And uh, I always forget until I buy these just how good some of these Majorette cars are. So this one has an opening hood, this is the Honda Civic. Yeah, pretty reasonable detail. Obviously. The the hinges get in the way a bit, but that's okay. Got the engine detail in there. Oh, heck up. There's the base Honda Civic Type R EK9, made in Thailand. These cars have a little bit of suspension as well, which is really, really nice. Nice little touch. I love the wheels as well. Got some awesome wheels. As you can see, we've got that kind of drawn-on anime um, type effect. Little Type R logo indicator done in there. We've got the lens lights as well. I say I always forget how good the detail is on the Majorette stuff. Honda logo as well. And then the back. All the rear light details, number plate, everything done up really, really well. Always forget how good the details are on these. Oh, wow, look at that. So there's the base before we get too excited. Nissan Sephira A31. Got some nice wheels on there. This one also has an opening hood or bonnet. This one's a little bit... Hinge is a little bit more hidden on this one, so a bit more engine detail. Well, it's got some flat on the round on the outside, but you know, it's pretty good. I'm not going to be too fussy about the engine detail because the opening features are just a nice touch anyway. But all the um, details, like the lights and all that, they're always done really well on these models. White wheels on this one, and there's the rear. Light details all looking good. As well as the badges, the little exhaust there as well. Very nice, and here we have a very fan favourite, possibly a bit too overhyped these days, the R34. I don't think this one has any opening features. It didn't actually, you know what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it has a removable hood. Ah, oh. interesting. Did they have an R34 in any of the Majorette tune-ups? I don't think they did. But it's interesting, because they've all got the same slots and the same sort of hood points. So, apparently this has a removable hood. Um, didn't show that on the back of the box, but maybe it's not really a feature. I just noticed it looked like it would lift up, but that's alright. It, it goes back together, so that's good. Um, <laughs> again got that same design this one's in blue I've got the lensed front lights GTR logo logos down the side and there's the back blue is a very fitting color for this car I love the rear details looking very awesome you've even got the skyline kind of written on the rear there in 
printed. Oh, so cool. Again, a little bit of suspension as well, which is nice. Really like that feature. Um, yeah, why not, Joel? Why not? Let's just show it off. Let's just like do that with it. <laughs> One of those sort of weird boy racer type mods now. They lift the uh, bonnet up a bit. Let's air drag under, I think, to keep the engine a bit cooler. Always wanted to do it to my Peugeot. Never did. And I had a reason, because it kept overheating. Leave me alone. Um, the Supra, which looks very cool. Pretty sure this also had... No, was it opening doors? Did this? I can't remember. I don't want to break it. Yeah. This also has, has an opening bonnet. Although I can't quite get under it. There we go. This one's different. It's actually got a matte finish compared to the rest. So it looks a little bit more interesting. I do like the colour scheme on this one. This one definitely stands out the most to me. But then I'm biased towards red anyway. And I quite like the silvery gunmetal grey wheels. That looks pretty awesome. But yeah, the red and black with the white looks very cool. Very good amount of engine detail. Again, lens lights, all the little indicators and stuff like that the side lights all done very nicely got the handles i'm always impressed with majorette i just love all the extra details i guess it's why the set is normally so expensive like look at the rear details really really nice and again a little bit of suspension and all that it's just very nice a very nice looking supra indeed and finally the Evo. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I used to get it in Midnight Club 3. I mean, you could I also... Actually, I do choose the Super a lot in Midnight Club 3 as well. But I do love me and Evo. I just love the look of these things. I think it's really, like... It's a bit more boxy. The Supra has a more curved look, which isn't as much of me. And it's overhyped. Now, this has a nice boxy look. But it's just too overhyped. <laughs> but... You know, these are still quite, yeah, these are a bit, maybe a bit overhyped, but oh, I don't know. Something about an Evo, just that angry looking front and that sort of slightly nervous looking rear end. I don't know how to explain it, but oh, it just looks so good. I love the spoiler and the square look to it. God, it looks good with those rear lights done in as well. Man, that is cool. Really, really hope one day I can have an Evo. Really, really want a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. Yeah, sorry, I'm just sort of gawping it up. Loving it with the lens lights. Really, really nice looking. Looks pretty cool in yellow. Obviously it'd be a wasp yellow if it was a, a normal Mitsubishi colour. The wheels are a bit, bit ricery, but they look alright on this casting. This one has the opening doors, so let's open them up. And Cool, they open, <laughs> they open really far. <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, it's... um. Proper, oh yeah, they're all proper JDM as well. They're all right-hand drive. I can't believe I failed to notice this. See? They're all right-hand drive. That's a nice little touch. Oh, trying to get the camera to focus on the steering wheel. It's not going well. There we go. Pretty damn good interior detail. It's got a roll cage in there as well, actually. Oh, most of them do. I'm... Yeah, I'm missing some features here, guys, am I? But I suppose it's quite hard to see inside the cars. I mean, when you've got an opening door, it's a bit easier. Civic also has a roll cage. Yeah, that is cool. So, so cool. And there is the base. Oh, that's a nice set. That's a very nice set. And I cannot complain at the price. <laughs> Not to make everyone jealous. Sorry. Very sorry. Let's try and put them back up here. I made a display somehow. May or may not work. Oh man, that is such a cool set. The suspension, all the extra details, the lens lights, everything. Just so awesome. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. I love to read them, so do be sure to uh, go down there. Drop a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Best of luck in your peg hunts as always. Hope you're doing well. 
and I hope to see you again in the next video.